U.S. Centers for Disease Control link swine virus to U.S. factory farms. Researchers analyzing the swine flu, H1N1 virus in the people who contracted the disease in California and Texas have found that most of the viral gene segments are descendants of a unique triple human bird swine virus that first played factory farms in North Carolina, USA, in 1998. This research was initially released by Columbia University's Center for Computation Biology in the U.S. and since been confirmed by scientists at places like the University of Edinburgh in Scotland and the U.S. Centers for Disease Control, or C. DC. During a phone conversation with Supreme Master Television, Director of Public Health and Animal Agriculture for the Humane Society of the U.S., Dr. Michael Greger, M.D., explained the most recent understanding of the current swine flu's evolution. The scientists all around the world are now confirming that three-fourths of the genetic material from the current virus came from this triple hybrid virus that emerged on factory farms in the United States in 1998. In a factory farm in North Carolina, August 1998, a double hybrid mutant influenza virus arose in a um, pig factory that was confining thousands of breeding pigs and gestation crates, these small uh, veal crate-like stall, metal stalls for pregnant pigs. Uh, one of the traditional swine flu viruses that existed for 70 years, essentially without change, um, had acquired three genes from a human uh, flu virus, and then it became the double hybrid pig human virus. It then spread by the end of the year. There were outbreaks in Iowa, Texas, and Minnesota. By that time, it had picked up two additional gene segments, this time from bird flu viruses. Now we had a never-before-described triple hybrid flu virus causing sickness among pigs and very rapidly by early 1999 it had spread throughout the country um, over more than 4,000 pigs were sampled across 23 states in early 1999 20.5 percent of all pigs were found exposed to this triple hybrid uh, virus including 100 percent of the herds tested in Illinois and Iowa 90 percent of the herds tested in Kansas and Oklahoma and so very rapidly spread spread down into Mexico and for the last 11 years has been causing sickness um, and killing a small percentage of pigs in these um, intensive confinement units. Dr. Greger went on to explain that the transportation of pigs to be fattened and slaughtered is one of the ways the flu virus is likely to have traveled from North Carolina to Mexico. Pigs don't fly is one way to put it. Well, they don't fly, but they are transported coast to coast here in the United States. Um, uh, one's uh, the average distance, one's meat travels, quote unquote, on the hoof before reaching people's plates, about a thousand miles in the United States. Pigs may be born in North Carolina, but fattened in the Corn Belt of Iowa and slaughtered in California. And by transporting these pigs thousands of miles, the stresses of transport um, confined in these trucks um, uh, combined with the mixing of pigs and the uh, transport across long geographic distances very rapidly spreads viruses like this and other viruses that affect pigs and other animals. Meanwhile, in Mexico City, Mexico, the mandatory shutdown of the government is being associated with an economic crisis as the capital city loses an estimated 60 million U.S. dollars each day. Twelve other countries now have officially confirmed cases of the swine flu. Spain has now reported the first ever case from someone with no connection to Mexico. We thank Dr. Greger and all the other scientists and government agencies working to understand this virus and protect public health. Our prayers go out to those who have been affected and or lost loved ones due to this disease. May animal consumption soon be replaced with the safe, healthy, and vitality-restoring veg lifestyle for the benefit of individuals and their loved ones worldwide.
Some of the benefits of a vegetarian diet, lower blood pressure, lower cholesterol levels, reduce type 2 diabetes, prevent stroke conditions, reverse atherosclerosis, reduce heart disease risk 50%, reduce heart surgery risk 80%, prevent many forms of cancer, stronger immune system, increase life expectancy up to 15 years, higher IQ, conserve up to 70% clean water, save over 70% of the Amazonian rainforest from clearance for animal grazing, a solution for world hunger, free up 3,433 billion hectares of land, free up 760 million tons of grain every year, half the world's grain supply, consume one-third fossil fuels of those used for meat production, reduce pollution from untreated animal waste, Maintain cleaner air. Save 4.5 tons of emissions per U.S. household per year. Stop 80% of global warming. Plus more. Save your life. Be veg. Go green. For more urgent information, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash harms dash benefits dash flyer.